Right. <laughs> one of, this would be a funny one, a short one. One of the reasons why I started doing these little videos was I was sick to death of too many shysters running little YouTube channels with literally like, you know, thousands of followers and thousands of views talking about the markets and they're full of shit. Right? And all they wanted to do is to get you to sign up to their shitty little trading courses, to sh sign up to their chat rooms, their systems which they kind of boasted had you know, 90% success rates, those things don't exist. If they did exist, those little boy clowns in their rooms would be uh, working at an investment bank as a fund and be worth a gazillion dollars. Those trading systems do not exist. So if you get anyone doing their YouTube channels that wants to sell you a trading course, tell them to fuck off. If they've got some trading system that they say is going to give you massive profits, you tell them to fuck off, right? Those things don't exist. Look me up on LinkedIn, you'll see my profile. I'm you know, 50 something year old, been retired for 10 years, worked in the investment banking industry for over 20 years in dealing rooms in Australia, Asia, the US, uh, UK, uh, around emerging markets business, traded options books, traded swaps, currencies, currency options, uh, bonds, you know, structured equity products, you know, the, the lot, right? Exotic options, you know, like digitals and barriers and all that kind of stuff, right? Um, traded big positions, had ran books that made a lot of money, ran books that actually <laughs> got toasted as well, right? These things happen. So I'm going to do some videos and busting some of these myths. I'm not after a cent from anyone. And I'm doing these to, I guess, you know, be a bit iconoclastic and bring some of these stupid little teenage boys masturbating in their bedrooms. Give them a reality check. And one of the myths is one channel, I won't name, I won't name later on, they, they talk a lot about the fake futures market. They call it the fake futures and they build up this bullshit dialogue that the futures market is some Wall Street manipulation, right? Now, this is what the fake futures market, you know, does, right? <laughs> Let's look at CPI just came out, right? Okay. Um, CPI came out, right? And this is what the futures market did, right? In the S&P. It dropped 1.3%, right? This is not a fake market. This is a real market. The futures trade basically 24 hours a day. The cash market trades from 9.30 to 4, I think it is. That's a third of the day. If you're running overnight positions, right, and you don't have, and you're a short-term trader, and you don't have access to a futures account, you got rocks in your head, right? You are a sitting goddamn duck. This is not a fake market. And particularly in times like these when the market moves, look at this, look at that gap. Right? This is the gap between, you know, four o'clock in the afternoon one day and 9.30 the next day, right? That is I don't know, 16 hours, whatever you want to call it. Oh, you do the maths. Um, where there was like, you know, it's like a 35 point move like a gap. If you're short options on this, that's a disaster. You know, that's 1% there. Now we're gonna see, you know, this hasn't opened up yet. We're gonna see, oh, we can just see it emerging here. <laughs> Look at this, because the clock's just ticked over. <laughs> you know, see how it's just filling in here? This is like, I guess, like just a bit of pre-market action. We'll see that fill out a bit. We're gonna come back to that. This is what, calling the futures market a fake market, in reality, this is where it leaves you, right? It leaves you naked, right? So this is one of my hobby horses. Like, there's a lot of people out there trying to make money from trading the markets, and it's a risky business, and it is a far riskier business than people suspect, you know? And look at this. These are gaps, right? So you can go home, and you can come home, you know, you can wake up the next morning, all of a sudden the market has moved by 1%, and that could leave you toasted, right? It's a big move. And so 
the futures market, it, the, all these equity markets, these risk markets, they trade 24 hours a day, they trade globally. People trade these things in the Asian time zone and the European time zone and the US time zone. It's not a fake market, it is a real market. So when you look at the S&P, look at the futures, don't write them off as some dickheads do, calling them fake, news, fake things just because they don't understand them, because they want to make up some bullshit story about a Wall Street conspiracy theory. Um, this is money that is changing hands, and if you're only dealing in the cash market and you've got overnight positions, you've just been screwed, not by some Wall Street conspiracy. You haven't been screwed by some fake futures market. You've been screwed out of your own stupidity. You know, for running overnight risk without a way to manage it. And if you've listened to anyone that has written off the futures market as a fake futures market, then turn them off. Um, I'm here to bust that myth. So my education tip for you today, right, is look at the futures market. You know, this is a cash market, right? You can see these gaps here, they are everywhere, right? particularly in times like this when there's a lot of volatility, um, you are essentially unhedged. Um, and we can see here, you know, this is a classic, right? And people will look at this and say, oh, look, that's an island reversal, an island reversal. You know, actually, it's not an island reversal, you know? Because when you look at the real market, which is the futures market, right? The cash market is a part-time market. Right? The futures, you should look at the futures as the real market. Right? There's no island reversal here, is there? There's no island reversal here. There's no island reversal here. There's no island reversals here. There's no gapping here. Right? That's why the futures, you've got to look at the futures and say the futures is the real market. The cash market is for part timers. Right? All the gaps over here. That is unmanageable risk. Anyway, so that's it for today. Sorry if that's been a bit of a brutal wake-up call for some of you. Um, but if it turns, if it makes you hit the unsubscribe and unlike button, right, on uh, people who don't talk about the futures market, then you've made my day. Um, if you think I'm smoking crack, then I can go back and you know, go and listen to the guys that want to see their stupid little trading courses that are discounted from $1,000 to $30, or they've got their you know, new places opening up on their course, they're all shysters. People who say they spend half an hour a day trading and they make you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, they're liars. They don't exist. They're unicorns. Because if they did, right, they would be running some of the biggest hedge funds in the world and they'd be making millions. Trust me, I worked in investment bank for 20 years. I know what successful traders do, I know how they trade and they make money. I've been there. I've been a successful trader. I've run books where I haven't been a successful trader as well, right? Um, you know, you run them all. I run quite a lot. And, um, you know, they all trade 24 hours, right? When I was running a trading book, I'd have, in the old days, I had a pager. Um, but every, every evening, you talk to your broker and you leave your call levels. I'd go home with my... Um, you know, with my matrix reports um, for, you know, what the market moves would be, what I would need to hedge and re-hedge, and what my PL would be. It was a 24-hour, six-and-a-half-day-a-week job. Anyway, that's it. Hope you have a good one. Enjoy the volatility today. The futures market is the real market. The cash market is the part-time pretenders market.